Not seen a lot of you over ho at home over the winter. Uh, tell us a bit about what you've been up to. Um, so before, oh, well, right at the end of the season, I went with Ireland on their um, their sort of pre World Cup tour to Australia, and New Zealand, um, and then switched camps to England and worked with the with the Lions um, as a fielding specialist for a month on their um, training camp to Sri Lanka. Um, also supported the the main team that was out there, which was which was a good experience. Um, and then at Christmas at home, which was very nice, and then um, a month with, with Sussex here, which was which is obviously good to get back and working with our lads again. And then um, I just done the, finished the World Cup with, with Ireland, so it's been a been a busy winter. Yeah, a bit all over the place. Um, obviously, the Ireland World Cup must have been a fantastic experience. Yeah, it was a great experience. Um, I think the competition as a whole has, has really revitalised 50 over cricket. Um, the wickets they've played on have allowed the, the sort of the games to be to be really good, really exciting, which I think's been been one of the, the sort of standouts. And I think if we can sort of replicate that in England and try and get some of the wickets, I mean we we hope we're, we're lucky we play on good one day wickets and and have good one day games. So I think if the rest of the country can can play on similar wickets, I think the the competition could be could be really good this year. It must have been great to be involved with an evolving team like Ireland who did really well in the tournament and, and looking not to, to go through. Yeah, I th we, were, we were a bit unlucky. Um, I think the bowling probably was the one thing that, that we did lack a bit. I think is that they won't mind me saying that. Um, it was one area that we could have could have done with a little bit more experience and a little bit more firepower potentially. Um, the batting was always was always pretty strong. We've got a good we had a good batting lineup. You know, Joycey played really well. Um, some experienced county cricketers in there, so um, I think we always knew we could upset a few people. But um, it was, it was the West Indies game was one that they they targeted from from quite a long way out as a as a group when I when I wasn't really involved, um, and they they did catch them cold, and we, that, that was obviously a very, a very big win and a great a great win for Ireland. Yeah, you mentioned Ed; he seemed to take off uh, where he left off last season, if you like. Yeah, no, Ed's. Ed's a good player, whatever format he's playing in, whatever sort of team he's playing in now, he, he's, he's sort of very calm, goes about his business in, in the way that I think Sussex have seen in the last few years and um, doesn't really get too flustered by much these days, so hopefully it's good things to come for, for Sussex for the, for the season ahead. Yeah, you're back working with Sussex now, so uh, what are the aims sort of for this season? Um, well, I think we, we always set out, you want to, at the start of the season, it's exciting, everything's fresh, everything's new. I mean, I, I haven't been with the lads throughout the, the, the pre-season bit, so I'm sort of excited to get back in and, and, and get working with the, with the lads again. Um, I think emailing with Robbo and having chats with Robbo, the, the, the pre-season tour's gone, gone pretty well. Um, I think a lot of people are in, in good nick and in a good place um, playing-wise. Um, so you know, I'm just excited to be back at Sussex. So they, they, I've missed the the pre-season chats and all the stuff that's gone on there. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, to having a catch up with everyone and finding out what the how, what, how all the planning's gone down and how all of that sort of side of things is looking. So um, I think that's where I'm at with it all. Really, um, not really looking too far ahead. You obviously want to target winning winning competitions, and everything like that. But I, I more want to wait and find out how it's how it's all fitting together, and and then we can look from there. And just on a personal level, the sort of experiences that you've learned over the, over the winter, are they going to stand you in good stead for going forward with Sussex? Yeah, I think that's, that's one of the things that I'm grateful for for Sussex is they've allowed me to go and, and work in, in different environments and work in a World Cup. It's a fantastic experience. Um, you know, you, you, not only working with Ireland in a different environment and a different coach and, and how, how they operate, but then you're, you're seeing the best teams in the world and how they go about doing things and how they operate. Um, and you get to see, you know, I went and watched the South African practice and saw them do a fielding practice, which was a, a, an intensity and a level that um, was was different to, to what I'd, I'd seen before. And um, to actually see those things and go and go and look at those things was, was a great experience and only one that hopefully I can bring back to Sussex and, and, and push us forward and, and take us to the next level as well. So some of the field and drills might be a bit intense uh, this season. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. That was just one example um, of of a different of a different thing that I saw, um, and obviously the way the way the competition was played on the whole with, a, with a, an amazing amount of freedom and expression of, of the, t the the top teams played with, um, especially with the batters and the, 
how that sort of how we can try and bring that into to our game and you know with, with the likes of Luke Wright you've got pl players there that do that quite naturally um, so hopefully we can we can challenge in the 50 over competition but also on, on all other fronts as well.